Dude, right. fun fun fact. On my speaker today, I played my Sting playlist all day, and it did not loop a single time until probably over four, 14 hours from when I started it. It's a lot of Sting to listen to in one day. It is. Sting and the police, I should say. Oh, okay, okay. But it's still Sting. Come on. Undeniable bass lines. Trying to find like new music to listen to. Just I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like new music from new artists, or just music you haven't listened to. Before? Music that I haven't listened to. Uh, Lost. How in much terms do you listen of... to funk? Ah, uh, not much. If at all. To more funk. I guess. I guess. There I you go. Entire out, genre yeah. that you haven't listened to. That's true. You're I don't welcome. know. I don't know. If that's the kind of mood that I'm in. But you know what? Maybe. Give Funk it a is shot. always a mood that to be in. Yeah, you're not wrong. I was listening to a bit of the. Uh, what was it? Hades is funky. Cover guy. But it's pretty good. I have no idea who you're talking about, but that sounds cool. I'll have to find them later and give them a listen. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he does. You know full who else song? is good? Oh, yeah, Matoa. I mean, I was going to transition into the match, uh, but you know, I kind of lost that thread. But we're we're here. Matoha's doing what Matoha thinks. But activation of Fighter Dijon, getting some pressure going. Mm. Mac Dash doesn't like get clipped by the jump. Uh, Fighter Dijon's really shooting to get this extra pressure, and like stealing the turns too. You know, like minus four on the heavy kick, not canceling it. Saving that B meter. Yeah, and there's definitely a point where, similar to Ed, there's just a range where your your opponent's not going to be able to push a four frame to, to punish you pushing your roundhouse like there. Oh. That sweep afterwards, disgusting. Sweep afterwards probably shouldn't happen, but you, you can get auto whiff punished by like a stand medium kick after the far range heavy kicks from Finder de Jean, so you got to be kind of careful. Fighter Dijon's play style. I can't get over it. It's so weird. it's so sweep heavy. I love it. Why? It works. Isn't it like every sweep? It's every sweep. It works. I thought he swept, but it was the fireball. <laughs> the fireball. Was about the to sweep would have worked. It would have I worked. know. That's why I was about to pop off. But the... instead, it's Matoha popping off with that Balrog big damage super hitting that kill zone. Uh, what world do we live in? That's uh, what I want to know. I, I don't have an answer. I have nothing clever for you. Alright, well let's see if Fighter Dijon has an answer for Matoa's rush punches. Right now he's getting smacked in the face. Literally round start as you're saying it got smacked in the face. Yo, I like the low box. Checking his toes up too far for the Fuha store, but and not no punish punish on for the just... oh, two drop punishes. Me. I'm disgusted. Oh my goodness, in the toe, right in there, pushing to this corner now. I also love that Matoa is whiff punishing the uh, the stores with rush punch. Yeah, but he got trapped in this corner and now has to eat this V-Trigger activation. Like the V-Rust, just built some space for himself. Are charging that V-Skill. The fireball oh, saved dangerous. his life. Oh, hey, Elder's duff, duff, and you're dead. Yeah. So, so close to taking a round. But I was clutching it out. Okay, there's a big cross dashboard not going for the combo, just trying to get some extra pressure. Yeah. Oh, tries to go to the other side, but Matoa's got the reaction. Not to block and like do a real punish, but to just hit it out of the air. Yeah, reacted faster than just to block it. Just like, I saw that, I'm gonna push a punch. Sometimes oh, you gotta let them know that you're like, I saw that. Activation because he was too close there. Finds the hit though. Gonna push to the corner here just a little bit. And the V Rush doesn't want to deal with it. Once out of the corner, that space. Ooh, trip guard. No, doesn't believe. 
All right, next touch, Mitoha gets to get a cancel to that critical art. Trying to find it there. Try to see, see a shimmy come out, but not quite. Fighter Dijon doing a good job. Catches the toes as well. Oh! Oh, I, I thought, thought yeah. Good. Yeah, Matoa wasn't quite sure if it was going to whiff on it, so he saved his meter there, oh, but finds it there. No. Is it in time? It you get is. ton punch. Good job there from Matoha, taking up, going up 2-0. I can't say taking it because this is winner's uh, top eight. It's right. three out of five. We, we we have the correct lobby settings too, so you can't even say that there was a mistake there. It's all on you. Nope, just my brain. Yeah. I got nothing. I commented too, commented? Commentated uh, too many other tournaments that are like normal. I actually don't know why more tournaments don't do top eight being three out of five. Like, I'm Because it surprised. takes a long time. Yes. And yeah, I guess it is, like, twice as long. I remember yeah. doing that math a while back and being surprised at how much of a difference it made. Yep. Oh, okay, finally punishing these sweeps, but, oh my goodness. Barely connected on that EXDP, but still locked in this mm -hmm. cornerized block, but now the activation, not getting any further away with the V reversal, got clipped in the toes. Yeah. Match point now. Yeah, spend the man meter, you know. Toa knows his damage. Ooh, the jump for the neutral jump would have caught him, but Mardion. Yeah, it's clip that roundhouse hit so late. Big damage, and finally the second or third EXCP that we've seen gonna connect as well. Matoha so confident in his pressure, hasn't seen Minor Dijon reversal that much, so just gonna keep going forward with the pressure. And even with the EXCPs that Fire Dijon's got, there's no reason for Matoha to stop. He's still winning games, still winning rounds. He can keep going. Ooh, Yo, that clip him on the air? I like the air to air right though. back. Yeah. You know, Fighter Dijon jumping forward to catch Matoha spinning through that ground fireball instead. Oh Matoha went to this guy to combat it, but oh gotta be God. careful. A lot of meter on the side of Matoha. He can make something big happen here, but Fighter Dijon just keeping him on his toes with some slight randomness, but not random enough. Dash forward, got checked. That's gonna be the game. The set. That whole set. Matoha takes it. I was so scared every single store that Fighter Dijon did because Matoha has shown that he can whiff punish those. Like, kind of at will. You gotta live with, like, yeah, four of them in a row. Does depend if there's the charge, if he was moving around or not. I can't mm -hmm. quite remember how much he was moving or stuff like that. And if you're trying to make sure that you're confirming the store versus just any whiff kind of thing there, you know, there's a couple of different, mm -hmm. different things. But all right, that was one side of winners. That's Matoha in winners finals. We're going to be moving on to the other side of the bracket where we have Haley 21 versus Shad. This should be a Ken mirror match, which we have seen Haley actually do quite well in against Ant. He won. I'm not quite sure. He won. Yeah, I'm not quite last sure how week. he does against Shad. I saw Haley won last week. I didn't see that, but just in terms of other other Ken mirror matches, because you know not every Ken plays the same and not every one approaches the, the mirror.